Welcome to the last and final collaboration on this channel. I hope you enjoy. The first time you came to Gringotts. Yippee! Hey, you were right. Oh, come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Yeah, that's right. Mine was the only entry. However, I have decided to make this video anyway. So I'll take this opportunity to explain exactly why I'm leaving. I am quitting now, so I'd like to take this opportunity to say some words. It has been nearly two and a half years since my channel started on May the 15th in 2019. I initially started it, I was inspired by Taylor Dutty Rings, who made parody edits, and I thought, hey, I could try and make something like that. So when I got my hands on the right equipment and worked out a way that I could download the videos, I was delighted, so I went ahead and started making the first stop. The first video I uploaded to my channel on May the 15th, 2019 was Thanos Tequila. Lots of you may remember this iconic video. It continued on from there and lots of these kind of Taylor of Tearing style videos. And then as I got more involved with the community, I grew up to 50 subscribers through autumn. My content started to evolve. As winter began to hit, we are reaching towards 100 subscribers. I was currently editing Harry Potter films. I decided I would try and get to 1,000 subscribers and then I would quit. As most of you will probably know, um, I grinded through that entire spring using various rather controversial methods to get there. I did eventually get there. This is the way that I grinded to get there. I think how much fun I'd had getting there when I actually got there wasn't that exciting. Now, I've done all of this stuff. What was this for if I'm just going to stop it all now? And despite everything, despite a lot of people fighting on my channel and countless attempts to get me cancelled, I want you to give me all your subscribers. I decided to keep on posting stuff. And this is when my content really started to improve, in my opinion, when I really started to develop my editing skills. So I'm, I'm glad I kept staying on. It was a very useful stage. Because at this point, I took the feedback from all of the people that hated my channel and learned so much from them. It was really, really fascinating. Now, about a year from then, here I am with barely 200 more subscribers than I had back then. A lot of people were quitting and unsubscribing as my content began to change and evolve. And lots of people didn't enjoy that. But that was my decision. I was okay with that. Obviously, over the last spring, since winter, I would say, my entire content has just went to bush. As I said, I'm no longer making weekly videos because I was too stressed to make weekly videos. Different stuff was coming up in life and I was way too busy to be able to be, you know, spending that few hours on a video every single week. I just simply couldn't guarantee it anymore. And that's when, you know, all of the attention started to go away from my channel. And I could keep going like this. I could keep uploading less and less and fade away into the distance. But I don't want to do that. I want to stop. I want to go out with a bit of a bang, at least. I don't know who's going to watch this video, but hopefully a few of you will. And then at least, you know, it can be known that job is gone and that's that. Also, I'd like to mention that lots of you might be upset that I'm leaving. If you're wondering what to watch now, the channel I would recommend straight up, first of all, um, I think that has a good sense of humour that lots of you will find amusing, I think is... John Poots TV. So why don't you go and look at his channel. He's had an entry for my Star Wars collaboration. Honestly, it was the highlight of the whole thing. And a brilliant entry for my Shrek collaboration as well, which I'm still really proud of at the moment. Actually, is going up, I believe, to one towards 1K views at the moment. You can go and watch that and watch his entry for that because that was brilliant. But yeah, if you're, you know, if my channel does go and you happen to be like, well, what do I watch now? 
No, I haven't been up morning lately. And if you happen to be like that, then I recommend you go and look at John Pooch TV. I'll link it in the description. Of course, I'll put that link probably just after my Discord server. And the reason for that is, unlike this channel, which, by the way, I have all intentions of leaving up, the Discord server, I plan on deleting. I, I don't want to leave the Discord server up. It's just going to die. There's going to be no point in it, right? My channel, we can come back in years time and look at it, right? My Discord server, we won't. If you want to contact me in the future, you're going to need to contact me through DMs. So, I mean, just, just add me on Discord if you think you might ever want to contact me again. And remember, you can always contact me through the comment section on this channel because I will always be responding to that even though it will be slightly less abruptly than before. And hey, if I respond to you in a year, at least I'll be responding to you, which I won't be able to do in Discord if, is in my Discord server because you'll not be there. My Discord server, I think, was one of the best things that this channel's really done. Um, I know it's not the best Discord server in a lot of ways, but I was pleasantly surprised by how many people were actually helped out by the channel existing, by the server existing, and I, I think it helped a lot of people out, maybe slightly more than they necessarily realised. But whenever I saw someone being affected by it, or someone someone's channel being helped out, particularly by the YTP helpers and such like, I um, always felt good, knowing that maybe I'd done something right. Maybe a couple of hours after this video goes up, I don't know, I'll just see. But we're going to do a voice call and I'm going to hopefully be able to talk with as many of you as possible and we'll get to communicate. I'll ping everyone then rather than when this video comes out so that you can all join get pissed off by one last ping. Okay, so a lot of people have really positively influenced this channel. Um, you can see that lovely cliche line. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of these brilliant people. Yeah, maybe, maybe I wouldn't be quitting if it wasn't for some, you know. Anyways, so, you know, there's a lot of um, brilliant people that have helped me out. Uh, I'd like to mention, you know, the different individuals. The Starfishy, who hugely helped me out. Their collaborations were an interesting mix of very varied people and got me involved in a lot of aspects of the community and improved my editing in ways that I wouldn't have expected to otherwise. I'd like to mention big old Haykill YTP who has been on and off, mostly supportive of me from around about the time when I had 40 subscribers when we first collabed back then. Obviously, you know, we've uh, went through lots of different um, paths that are quite interesting, lots of different stuff's happened since then and a lot has changed. It's good that some of that has still been sticking with the channel. Right up until now, it's quite quite cool that. But I watched the Crack and Vigils before I made YTPs, and he was, I think, I think he was the main reason that I decided to start putting a YTP in my title, even though they were barely YTPs back in the frozen, frozen edit days. Kraken channel, I recommend you check it out. The fourth person that I would like to mention is Oswald. You know, Oswald movie was pretty much the first person to call me out when I did something wrong. Oswald was also one of the first people to help me out when I had something wrong, you know. Similarly to the help that Watso 75 e has been giving me lately. And loads of other people. I, honestly, I can't mention them all right now. I've got plenty of people in real life. That specific person that got me banned off of live streaming on YouTube. But actually is also the person that suggested I use the name Tejrobi as my channel. I want to thank all of you people who have ever watched one of my videos, particularly those who subscribed. There's lots of you people who subscribed to me, those of us who subscribed really early on are still with me right now. It was a joke, my channel for a while, how obsessed I was with subscribers. But it was less that I was obsessed with subscribers and more that I was obsessed with building a community. I know that sounds dumb. He just wanted a thousand subscribers, but whenever whenever more people were watching me, whenever I knew people, more people were subscribing me, I guess it fulfilled my ego in a certain way. And then when people commented, you know, suggestions, I would almost always implement that into some video, you know. People gave me advice all the time, sometimes terrible advice, maybe they terrible things. I took it on because I was obsessed with wanting this community to like me. 
and that's one of the reasons I didn't move on from what Oswald was said. It was silly. I don't think I would have done that now. I think right now, if somebody did call me out, okay, I would listen to them. But if they talk to me in a demeaning way, and you know, did things like go on my Discord server and spam and you know, post horrible things, then I wouldn't. I wouldn't be collaborating with them right now. But that's what I did back then, and it turns out I've discovered quite a nice person at the heart of Oswald. As my channel is now coming to an end, I would like to say goodbye to all of you good subscribers, and friends, and everyone watching that may not get a chance to see this wonderful face again. I wish you all good lives, and that you enjoy yourselves even after the death of such an incredible channel. I've enjoyed all of this and I will sort of miss you. Goodbye folks. Tea joy.